Hiya folks, Phil here. Happy Saturday. The long-awaited review, tobacco review here. HU Port Latakia. It is another 100 gram paint can from Hans Wiedemann, Kohlhaser and Kopp. Original warehouse blend series. Comprised of Latakia, quite a bit, I think 40%, something around there. Virginia, it seems to be brown Virginia, that sort of Virginia. Black Cavendish and Orientals, I think. Both of those are in condimental quantities. There's hardly anything left in this can. And you are greeted with the aroma of sweet campfire, which is not surprising considering this is a crossover aromatic come. Well, I'll get to that in a minute. You just have a standard ribbon cut mixture here. Let me just fill this in the pipe. I literally have smoked all of this. We are down to the wire here. <laughs> Nothing really to see in that handful. It's not a surprising cut. It's a classic ribbon cut. Maybe a little bit choppier. I don't know. Right, let's light her up. And the uh, first, at first breath, it is very much sweet campfire. And what is the sweetness? Well, the sweetness comes from a pretty expertly applied topping. I think it's a coffee liqueur of some sort. Kahlua, maybe? Or is that not a coffee liqueur? I get a hint of coffee. Milky sort of coffee. And the tobacco is obviously a slightly sweeter than it should be. I've heard people compare it to Northwood's which I have never tried. It's very smooth. Silky smooth. I'd say it's that calf doing that. Not a lot of Latakia there. When it does come in, it's like a smoky backdrop. Sometimes it comes in more stoutly. There we go. A bit more creosote. The Orientals are there now. Not much Virginia. I think that's tends to be at the back of the bowl with this one. The bready Virginia's come out because the front of the 
you know, with the the top note and the Latakia sort of overpower the other components. And then once your palate gets tired of those, those other components start to come out at the back of the bowl. And the, um, that buttery sort of salty thing goes away and you get slightly spicier, more aromatic oriental, you know, incense and um, bready Virginia and then less of that top note. And the top note just, I think to me, it works very, really well. It makes everything sort of stick together. I think if somebody was going to try smoking an English blend or an, a Balkan blend for the first time, this might be really good. You might um, might pique your interest there. This is definitely a sit back and relax type of smoke. You don't want to be cutting the grass or walking the dogs. I want to think about it. Let those waves of sweet incense flavors waft over you a bit. And contemplate life's big mysteries. I have waves where I enjoy English blends a lot. Then it disappears. Then I get into them again. Now, I've been out with them for quite some time. It's a um, chap that we all know, Stonehenge Minstrel, got me interested in that one. He was talking about it in a comment. I thought, I'll just... I'll just pick that up and see what it's like. And, um... I got through that tin pretty quick. I like my Latakias and Balkans in a big, booming bowls, not tiny bowls. It doesn't work for me in tiny bowls. It's probably why they, they don't last as long. I need openness and air. Hmm. Sweet, smooth. Bit of complexity. Another winner from HU Tobaccos for sure. So if I were to rate this on a five scale where one is throw it in the bin and five is sell your mother and four is, yeah, let's sell us some more of this. It's well between that sell, sell us some more and sell your mother. Not quite sell your mother <clears throat> because at some point I'll go off the English blends for a while. Come back. So they're never my, they're never my, year-round preference, but we'll go four and a half, shall we? It's beautiful. Luxurious. Everything you want in a pipe. I've got another 100 gram tin stocked away. For sure, I'll get more. Mm. Beautiful. Let's end it there. I've got nothing else to say. 
you'll like it. Until the next time.